in this video right here, you guys, I'm going to be talking with y'all about how depression and demonic possession are one and the same. Now I'm going to start this off first and foremost by telling you guys depression, demonic possession. Let's compare the names depression, possession. They run with each other for a reason. You know, depression is a symptom of possession. You know, demonic possession. Now, when you get depressed, nobody is depressed. Nobody is born depressed first and foremost, okay? Nobody in this world is just born sad. You know, I like to reference an interview that I watched with a famous celebrity a couple years back, Dave Chappelle. In his interview with Oprah, he said, you can't call anybody in the world crazy. You know, nobody in this world is crazy. He spoke about how people's environments can cause them to become sick. You know, now I feel personally within myself that depression is something that people that are highly empathetic experience. You feel me? People, there's people in this world that are selfish and very cold hearted. They will seem like they're stronger than people that are more emotional. You know, like they seem not to go through depression. They seem like the people that's putting all the hurt on the world, you know, and they still get good night's sleep. They still, you know, do what they have to do in life. They still follow through with their agendas, you know. And then you have some people in the world that fall victim to depression, you know. Depression can be brought on by many different things, okay. Trauma, rape, being robbed, losing a family member, losing a part of yourself through a traumatic experience. You know, now I've had my own personal experience with depression and I'm going to tell you guys first and foremost, being depressed, it's like taking a back seat in your own body. Time slows down, you know, you don't really get a thrill out of too many things in life besides thinking it's like you get caught up in your mind. You feel me? Demons, like say if, say if you've been through something that traumatized you, right? Because this is how depression comes about. Say if you've been through something like a family member backstabbing you or something like that, right? Like say if you're a targeted individual, if you've been through something like somebody backstabbing you, you know? Or is somebody really close to you turning their backs on you and setting you up or something like that? That right there is going to break your heart. You know, if you're empathetic, it'll have a really drastic effect on you. You you might end up just questioning yourself a lot. You feel me? Like, you'll question your own character based off of what somebody else did to you. Demons play on you when you're at your weakest. You know? When you're in that, that, that time to think to yourself and... You're trying to focus and you're trying to solve your issues. That's when demons come, you know, fucking with you and shit like that. And what they do is they can read your energy levels. See, when you get happy and get vibing high, your aura shines golden, you know, and it's kind of hard for demons to, to get into you, you know. It's kind of like, it's like throwing, it's like throwing a gorilla up against that, that glass at the zoo. You know, you know how the glass at the zoo is impenetrable, pretty much. You feel me? When your shot, when your aura is is vibrant and you're happy, it's kind of hard for a demon to penetrate you. Like they'll keep trying to latch onto your energy field just for your energy to repel them. You know, when you're in a lower vibration and you're going through things like sadness and trauma and stuff like that, your energy level comes down. You know, and a hole opens up inside of your aura. For a demon to be able to influence you. And what happens is. The demon latches on to your energy field. Similar to how a bed bug latches on to you. You know. 
and it drinks on your blood. Like, you wouldn't even really be recognizing that this thing is drinking your blood until you really look down. But you'll get signs like, oh, I'm itching. Fuck. Where's this itching coming from? The bed bug moving all over the place, just feasting on you. You know? And that's how it is when you're depressed. The demon, it latches on to get energy filled. You feel me? And it slowly for surely drains you. So, natural activities that you naturally were in, indulging in in life, like say if you like to play basketball, or you like to run track and stuff like that. Due to the fact that you've been through a traumatic experience and a demon is now latched onto your aura, what happens is, like say if you wake up in the morning and you're used to doing certain things on schedule and shit, you'll wake up and what will happen is the demon will tell you to do something else. You feel me? Like you just won't be motivated to get anything done. You know, it'd be a hassle for you to just get the simplest things done. Seriously. During my days of depression, I was so depressed, you know, to a point. I, um, Not only did I lack, you know, hygiene, but I lacked, you know, I lacked communication. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I locked myself completely away from the world and I was just in darkness. You know, even though I was doing a bunch of positive things, it's like I was locked in darkness. You feel me? My storage is getting kind of low on this phone right here, so I'm gonna end, I'm gonna cut this video off right here. You feel me? Cause I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to take up too much space. I'm gonna turn this into like a little mini series. You know, speaking.